Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Today is July 4th, 2022. And at this moment in Switzerland, the CERN Hadron Collider is being turned up. Now, we don't completely know what the intentions are behind this. It's a little bit elusive. They don't tell us much. But what we do know is that when you accelerate particles that fast, something very interesting happens in the quantum field. And if we can take this time to harness our intention, our collective intention with a shared meditation, then, then we can have a positive impact on whatever that may be. Now, it feels fairly neutral to me, um, but I keep seeing this like, I don't know if any of you watched Stargate SG-1 back in the day, um, but I keep seeing this like Stargate portal open and it's like there's this invitation to, to use that energy for good, to pour our positive intention into it. So that is part of what we are going to do today. We're also going to just relax and release anything heavy that we've been holding, get into our bodies and our breath. Um, and then we'll also go through a visualization, not only seeing positive outcomes from the Hadron Collider, but also of global healing across the entire world. So I'm so happy that you are here. Um, if you're here and you can't stay, this is being recorded. It will be up on YouTube a little bit later today. And remember that time is not linear. All moments are occurring simultaneously. So you can do this long after if, if you're watching the recording and you've just come across it. Um, it's, it's about the intention always. So let's begin. So first, we just want to find a comfortable way to rest our bodies. You can sit, you can lie down, you can even stand or go for a walk if that helps you to focus. Um, so take a moment to get yourself settled in however you'd like to be getting as cozy as possible. And notice, could you bring anything into your space that would help you to feel more relaxed, more peaceful, more connected to maybe your higher self or your spiritual side? Um, that might be lighting a candle. That might be smudging or um, bringing out an essential oil or a crystal. So how can you make this moment feel a little more, mm, a little warmer, <laughs> a little yummier? <laughs> and then as you're doing that, also notice, is there anything you can clear out of your space? Do you have like kind of a mess near you that you can just scooch off the table or, um, you know, are there some clothes piled on your bed you could just dust off for now? So any, anything that you can do that allows you to feel more, um, more centered, more at peace and more like yourself. We'll take a minute to just do whatever it is that we need to do. Okay. Take your time. And if this is your first time meditating, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here and that I get to have the honor of guiding you. Um, throw away any ideas you have about what a meditator should do or should look like. Um, if you try some of those things on, like, a, like, you know, maybe sitting up really tall with your legs crossed and that feels good, then go for it. But do what feels good to you. Do what feels right. What we really want to do with our bodies and meditation is getting to a place where we don't have to think so much about our bodies. We can just kind of relax and let our focus go elsewhere. Right. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We're just getting settled in. All right. So beginning to settle a little deeper into your space, start to notice how you can feel your body resting here. You might feel your hips grounding into your seat or your bed. You might feel your feet resting down toward the earth. If you're laying down, you might feel the whole side of your body 
but notice those parts of you that are at rest, that are feeling that loving pull of gravity a little more than the other parts. You might like to close your eyes if that helps you, or maybe keeping them open, but just resting them in kind of a soft gaze. So you're not really looking intently at anything. Your eyes are just open and soft. Tuning into those parts of your body that feel the most heavy, the most grounded and anchored. And if it's more helpful, you can focus on just one body part that feels really grounded. And then take an easy breath in feeling your lungs expand, filling up with that beautiful life-giving oxygen. And then as you exhale, relax even deeper down into that most grounded part of you. And take another breath in, lifting your shoulders up to your ears as you inhale, squeezing your neck tight. And exhale, drop your shoulders down. <sighs> Breathing in, squeezing your hands, making fists, lifting your shoulders up to your ears once again, tightening all the muscles in your face. Seeing if you can tense all the muscles in your body at once, sipping in a little more air. And then exhale, let it all go. <sighs> Feel how that squeeze and release is having this sort of ripple effect throughout your body. It's continuing to permeate beyond just that first moment of release. And parts of your body are growing softer and more relaxed. And if you like, you can intentionally relax the space between your eyebrows. Soften your eyelids. Invite your eyes to sink all the way back into their socket. And soften your lips and your jaw, maybe giving your jaw a little wiggle or a massage. <sighs> Softening the tops of your shoulders down toward the earth. And sometimes we come across parts of our body that feel tense and they just don't feel ready to let go. That's okay, don't force it, just let them, let them hold that tension because that's there for a reason. But as your breath deepens, as your body relaxes more, things will start to just let go and become more mm, kind of taffy on their own. So just let yourself be where you are, it's perfect. <sighs> So trust that that process of softening and relaxing in your muscles and your connective tissue will just continue to unfold in its own way. And start to bring your attention into your heart space, wherever you imagine that to be. That might be where your anatomical heart is, that might be right in the center of your chest, but um, draw your attention there. And maybe it feels good to place a hand or both hands over your heart and begin to take some fuller, slower breaths, focused right in that heart space, almost as if you're breathing into your hands. Go ahead and do about five to 10 at your own pace.
Feel your ribs expand and contract with every breath. Trusting that your body is breathing exactly the way that it needs to for the current state of your nervous system. Sometimes we feel like our breath should be deeper or different in some way, but it's perfect, exactly how it is. So as you observe your breath, see if you can watch it as if you were watching waves rolling in and out on the shore of the ocean. So you're not anticipating the next breath. You're not controlling the breaths. You're just witnessing them ebb and flow in their own beautiful way. So as we proceed in our meditation, all sorts of things will happen that is normal for every single meditation. Thoughts will come and then they'll go and we just let them. You can kind of imagine a thought coming in like a leaf falling onto a stream. It just gets carried away, going as easily as it came in. You might um, lose track of what you're doing or what I'm saying, and that's really normal and okay. So when that happens, just come right back. Just, just check back in um, once you've noticed that your mind has wandered. There is no way that you can do this wrong. This is for your own personal experience and enjoyment. So do what feels right for you, even if it is totally different than what I'm saying, okay? Make it yours. Ah. So as we connect into our hearts, this seat of our soul, begin to call in anyone that you would like to be present for spiritual protection and support. These can be your spirit guides, your ancestors. It can be a God or universal energy, archangels, um, whatever speaks to you. So take a moment and just invite um, anyone that resonates with you to join, protect your space and um, protect the energetic space of this meditation. You might see them forming a protective circle around you or creating an energy bubble around you. So in whatever way resonates, call in some support and love and protection. And if you're not really sure how to do that, or if that's new to you, then you can simply say, I invite all beings of light who come in support of my highest good and the highest good for all to be with me now, protecting this meditation, protecting the purity of my positive intention and holding the space for me so that I may rest and relax with ease inside of it. And you might feel that presence arrive. You might just trust that it's there. And allow your breath to continue to flow easily and naturally. And begin to imagine on the map of Europe, Switzerland, 
You don't have to know exactly where it is. You can just imagine that you do. And begin to zoom in to Geneva. That's where the Large Hadron Collider is. And begin to see the collider on the map as this round circle, most like a stargate or a portal. Let it come alive in your imagination as you zoom in and in and in until you are seeing it on the ground level, clear as day. See this as a neutral portal, a neutral tunnel, ring, circle, however it appears to you, that is not inherently good or bad, but has great potential. Now imagine it being turned on, perhaps a switch is flipped or a button is pushed. You might hear it make sound. You might feel it make movement. See it turning on and remember that we are keeping the most positive intention. Let's go into this process with the affirmation what if everything works out better than I ever imagined? Okay, so we are keeping that imagination, that intention as high and positive as possible, as if we were creating the outcome right now. What do we want? Let's make it happen in our minds. To so see it turning on, maybe it rumbles, maybe it hums or sings. And then begin to see that through this Large Hadron Collider, there is a beautiful, brilliant beam of light shining out from it. This light feels almost angelic, pure, loving, and healing. Notice its color. Perhaps a golden or white light, but any color that speaks to you is perfect. See this beam of colored light shining out from its center, beginning to grow whiter and whiter and wider and become so bright that it is almost blinding. Everything that this light touches is regenerated, restored, healed. It can take even the most tarnished, uncared for place or thing and restore it to its highest possible state. So begin to see this beautiful colored healing light shining out and beginning to grow, spilling out onto all of Switzerland. All of Europe, healing and loving and restoring everything it touches. As it expands across the globe, bit by bit, see it restoring the oceans, and see them teeming with wildlife, harmonious, with the water clean and pure, the coral reefs thriving and abundant. See the places in drought becoming lush and abundant with water.
and see each city that this light floods through. Be restored in all ways. See every single person cared for deeply. Everyone has a home. Everyone has a community. Everyone has plenty of nutritious food to eat, plenty of love to give and receive. And they are cared for by systems that deeply, truly care for them. There are no cracks to fall through anymore. It's just compassion and love and care. As you move through the cities, you might also see the physical structures themselves be restored and hmm, created newly, uplifted. Maybe there are rooftop gardens everywhere. Maybe every building is made from sustainable materials. Maybe in your vision, there aren't so many physical structures anymore. And we've returned quite a bit to the earth. For a few moments, allow your awareness to move across the planet with this healing light, wherever it feels inclined to go. It might be to a place you love, a place you've always wanted to visit, Trust where your awareness takes you. And if you ever go anywhere in meditation that doesn't feel like a good place, it doesn't feel like a place you want to go to, um, all you have to do is just blink your eyes, open a few times, reset yourself, take a breath, and then go back in when you feel ready, okay? And take all the breaks you need. See a world that works for everyone, truly and completely, where we live in harmony with nature. Everything is sustainable, where everything is considered to be a part of the greater whole. Where the people have power. There is no 1% anymore. There is true equality. Now shift your awareness to where you are, the place you live, to your home and your body, and see this healing, loving, regenerative light reaching you and the things that you love and interact with every day. See them being restored, rejuvenated, healed and uplifted. Witness your home transform into your dream home. Your plants are thriving. Your water is pure and drinkable and it tastes delicious. You can smell the flowers that grow around and in your home. Maybe even the food cooking on the stove.
and see your body loved, healed, restored. Any incoherence being cleared, any disease, illness, anything at all that is not exactly how you want it. See it being completely tuned up with this beautiful colored light. Maybe you breathe it in, breathe that light in with your breath, or maybe you sip it in and drink it into your body. But whatever that looks like to you, however it happens exactly, see that light being infused and integrated into the fabric of your being. As pure love, pure healing, with only the highest, purest, most positive intentions. Trust that this process can continue to work behind the scenes until you choose to stop it. So this light will continue to heal and repair and uplift all that is occurring within your cells and your organs and your muscle fibers. Everything being lovingly tuned up. And now that we've seen this light spread across the world into our cells, healing our systems, our structures, and planet Earth, zoom out to see the entire Earth. Now, there are many of us holding the light at this time. We are all placed all around the world, not just those doing this meditation, but all who are holding a high vibration at this time. See us all like a grid across the world. Each of us is a little beam of light. And as each of our lights grow brighter, and more powerful across the world, they begin to connect and form a grid or a web around planet Earth. And as all of our points and lines intersect and create a fully formed web around Mother Earth, the potency of our light and our positive intention is turned up a thousandfold. Our lights become so bright that it's hard to even see Mother Earth through all of the light. She just looks like this glowing orb, like a sun. And you can feel how she feels being wrapped and cocooned in this light and positive intention for her and all of her beings all those that she supports, all the humans, all the four-leggeds and two-leggeds and the feathered ones. She feels happy and cared for and loved. She feels relieved that she doesn't have to do so much work anymore to keep herself in a homeostasis because we are all helping her and we're all helping each other. Her dream has been realized. Like a mother proud of her children, she is beaming. Let's allow this protective cocooning layer of healing light 
to stay over Mother Earth, over the world, trusting that it sustains itself. So it does not take any energy from you to leave it there. This is like something that we've created together that now gets to live on its own, like making a vase for flowers. Mm. So letting this overlay grid or web stay where it is, existing easily and effortlessly. Begin to pull your attention back, back to your body, where you reside in physical space. Begin to feel yourself on your chair, or your bed, or wherever you are. Feeling your feet from the inside. And as you come a little more into your body, take this time to set an intention or say a prayer for humanity, for the earth, and for yourself and your loved ones. What do you want to see? As we are in this time of transformative change, what do you want the outcome to be? What do you wish every human to know and understand? What do you wish them to experience? What is your wish for the world? Make that wish or intention or prayer now. We'll have a few moments. As your intention, wish, or prayer is complete, begin to find a little movement in your body. You might like to start by lifting and spreading your toes, and then setting them back down, doing that a few times. Beginning to open and close your palms, maybe with the rhythm of your breath. Like to roll your wrists, wiggle your fingers, stretch your shoulders and your neck. Finding any movements that feel good. Maybe eventually reaching your arms up, taking a big stretch like you just woke up from an amazing nap. And as you move through the rest of your day, 
feel this vision planted in your heart like a little glowing seed that begins to crack open and sprout and grow and grow and grow and blossom and expand. And that as that occurs, the light within you begins to shine brighter and brighter and warmer. And you feel more embodied, more connected to your light and the love that you are, more connected to your true nature as a spiritual being in human form, more connected to your true nature as a being of love with innate power that can be used for good and to free ourselves. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me. I think we've done something really beautiful here together. <sighs> I will have this up on YouTube here shortly. Um, and I will link to it in my profile. So if you want to come back, do it again, do it as you're falling asleep tonight so that this can just kind of like take place in your dreams. It's one of my favorite things to do is meditate as I'm falling asleep. Um, that's a great thing. If you want to share it with somebody, um, it will be there for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through the comments real quick, see if there's any questions. And I saw some really fun comments. Thank you all so much. This has been wonderful. Coffee Bean Queen says, new earth filled with smiles, laughter, and joy. Yes, 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 yes. Um, for any of you who want to kind of go deeper into that new earth envisioning, like what, what it could be living in a world that works for everyone, what it could be living in a higher dimensional aspect of earth. I have a new earth meditation on my podcast. It's called Higher Self Daily. There's a link in my profile. Um, listen to that. It's, it, it's beautiful. You're going to love it. It's one of my favorite meditations. It's all going to be okay. Yes. So glad to be here with you all. Hi, Emily. Hello, I didn't know you were here. Welcome. What do you do when your mind starts to drift? Um, I'm assuming you mean in meditation. Um, I just let it go. <laughs> just let it happen. And then once I've realized that it's kind of gone from where I've tried to bring my focus, like let's say I'm focused on my breath, I just bring it back. Just, oh, okay, my mind wandered. That can happen. It does that. <laughs> Minds are wandering things. That's a sign that it's working really well and doing what it's supposed to. I just bring it back to my breath. And if I'm in a space where I notice that it just keeps happening to the point where like, I really can't focus, then I know that that type of meditation is probably not what I need right now. And I probably need something else. So usually I would get up and go for a walk. I'd move my body in some way to release some energy. And also our mental focus is preceded by our visual focus. So if you have um, a meditation, this candle isn't lit, but if you have like a candle that you light, you can gaze at the candle flame. Um, you can gaze at your finger and take some slow breaths. So we can use that visual focus to help our minds focus, which is something I wish I knew a long time ago, <laughs> but I just recently learned from Andrew Huberman. So um, I hope that helps and I'm happy to answer any more questions. So grateful for your light. Thank you for doing this with us. Oh, thank you. This was such a joy. I agree. I felt the joy. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to end this live now. Thank you. And let this feeling, whatever the feeling is that you got from this meditation, let it carry you through the rest of the day. And if something happens where, you know, you start to feel really emotional or um, kind of downtrodden, let yourself feel that, let yourself move through it. And then see if you can come back to even just a little bit of this. Like you can imagine it like this glowing ball in front of you and you kind of sip it in <laughs> like air. 
Um, Andrew Huberman is a neuroscientist from Stanford University. He has a lab there where he studies a lot of things that come at the intersection of science and spirituality. Um, he's really cool. He has a really awesome podcast and a YouTube channel. Um, his social media accounts are a really great way to learn in just kind of a bite-sized way. I think he's here on TikTok. He's, he is on Instagram. So um, yeah, he's really cool and very, very sexy. I might add. <laughs> he's my scientist crush. <laughs> okay. I love you all so much. If you have any more questions, just send me a message, leave a comment. I love you. Have a beautiful day.